Hey there, it's Jay Robinson, the PE Geek here. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can utilize the QR Stopwatch app to time multiple students all with QR codes from one device. And um, this app is quite incredible because it's hands-free. You just simply flash the codes, the QR codes that are individualized for each student in front of the camera, and that initiates and stops the timer. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, inside the app, it guides you to it, but there is a, a web address that you can go to where you can type in the list of student names, etc., that you would like to create QR codes for. So I'm gonna put mine in, a few other different names. Like so, put your student list in and then you can hit create QR codes. And what that will now do is download a PDF file that contains the QR codes that match up with the names of those people that you placed in. You can then open that up and you'll see that each of these students has a personal ID, it's got their name on it and so forth, and they've all got an individual QR code. So at this point, you wanna print these out and now you're actually ready for the mobile app. You can then open up the app and you'll notice that you've got the capacity to start the different races using your QR codes that you've generated. Now at this particular point, if you hit stopwatch, you can delete any old data there and you'll see a camera of appear and it was so quick that it scanned the QR code that was on my screen and you can see we have a timer now running for the first person, uh, Lucy. But if I now scan the QR code, we've now got that timer running. And if I now scan the next one, we have that running and so on. And you can now see that the timers are all running. Now the idea is that as soon as uh, they, or whomever, or whatever it is that you're timing needs to finish, then all you need to do is to scan the QR code again, and it will tell you the completed time for starting and stopping that particular QR code. And if I just scan the final person, and let's say for whatever reason, they don't all get back, you can manually press that to stop them. So at that particular stage, um, you can see here how using these individual cards, you could use it to start the timer and stop the timer. And therefore you could use it for timing different activities or different races where everyone needed a starting and an end time. It doesn't do laps, it won't count um, different laps that you do and, and record those, but it will, it will count the time of multiple people that have a start time and an end time. And it will do that without you needing to have lots of different timers running, uh, all from one and all by starting with a QR code being scanned. So lots of ways that you could leverage that in either track and field for timing or in different games, uh, you, you name it, it's probably possible. Start by heading to the, the website, which you can find inside the app. And I'll have a link in the blog posts and generate your codes, get the app. And as you've seen in this video, use it to time your different timekeeping events uh, without needing to touch your device.